Myelofibrosis is uh, one of the myeloproliferative neoplasms in which the main biological abnormality is hyperactivity of the jac stat pathway. That's why the JAK inhibitor ruxolitinib has a clinical activity and it is a standard therapy for patients with myelofibrosis that need therapy. The drug was approved based on two studies, COMFORT-1 and COMFORT-2, which compare ruxolitinib to either placebo or best available therapy. Now we have a five-year anniversary of this drug, of these protocols, and we know what is the overall outcome of these patients, not just in terms of controlling the symptoms and the spleen, which are main benefits of ruxolitinib, but also in terms of what is the overall survival of the patients when they were randomized on two, two arms. Now, it is also important to understand that patients that were randomized to best valuable therapy or placebo were actually allowed at some point during the study to be given ruxolitinib, to cross over to ruxolitinib, which uh, certainly would affect the analysis of survival. Nevertheless, I can tell you from analysis that we have done, combining these two studies together, that the median prolongation of life, comparing patients that were given ruxolitinib from the very beginning to those that were not given ruxolitinib at all, ever, is about three years. So about 30% prolongation of survival. In patients that were given ruxolitinib after some time, initially placebo or best available therapy arm and then ruxolitinib, the difference in survival obviously is, diff is a little bit smaller. So in this case, prolongation of uh, survival comparing to patients that were given ruxolitinib from the very beginning is about a year and a half. Well, the suggestion therefore is, and that is a summary of the study, that uh, in addition to clinical benefits, of the spleen and the symptoms. With good control of the signs and symptoms of disease, you can clearly now see combination of the two studies providing that evidence that people live much longer, on average three years, and that earlier intervention with ruxolitinib will boost that uh, benefit more. And the message for a community, practicing doctor is not to wait until the patient is so advanced to have a high-risk disease and high risk of dying.